Public safety is a priority for all of our cities and we need to start redefining what public safety is. And investment needs to be also done in homegrown interventions, homegrown community organizations that understand the community, that understand the people. The other challenge is not enough regular funding and consistent funding for CVI. In some cities it's sporadic, where you may have a dosage of funding that comes along and then you have a dry spell. It's preventative work and supporting the funding of CBI work that's really going to deliver long-term systematic changes for our communities and have healthier neighborhoods for everyone in them. It is cost saving, it is more economical than investing in the aftermath of victims of crime. Your public safety strategy will not survive without the very people who are in those communities most impacted by violence. Put your all into the people that's out in the field working. We're going to show what the city can really be, what it should be, and what it could have been a long time ago. Our lawmakers need to invest in these organizations that can create the bridges that have been torn down between the people and the organizations that are, be, are supposed to be providing resources for them. The only ones that can build that bridge is our community-based organizations that are there rebuilding torn down communities and torn down neighborhoods.